Objective accomplished. Briefing commences. Commander, we are now able to research and build VTOLs. The civilians you rescued from the containment camp have informed us that the Collective was searching for anyone with knowledge of nuclear reactors. Commander, the only reactor in this sector is located here. From the LZ, proceed to the reactor and destroy it to deny its power to the Collective. Mission timer activated. So, a quick demonstration on how one can get good intel on a stage using VTOLs before actually trying to complete it. Feel free to do this in your own game. If you feel bad about this because you need a narrative reason to allow you a willing suspension of disbelief, just tell yourself that the VTOLs don't actually need to be put into a transport to make the trip here. And if you really think this is cheating, what are you watching a walkthrough and strategy guide for, seriously? Unit under attack. Reinforcements are available. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Mission failed. You can still control the camera during the game over screen, so get a good look at everything you can see, and then reload and do it for realsies. Mission timer activated. In the intro video, Christine was all happy about us being able to build VTOLs now, but it's the other major tech that will carry us this stage. We now have long range artillery, and in this map, the Collective have no artillery. This will end up making Beta 6 a breather stage after the slog that was Beta 5 and the insanity that will be Beta 7. After landing, our first goal will be to clear out the area to build a repair bay, and then remove the bunkers and defenses just east of us. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Try not to push much farther than the second road intersection until your reinforcement load arrives, as we will want the tanks to fend off the pit surprise. Your first, second, the football load should contain your commander, the spotter, and eight MBG tanks, four of which are your newly upgraded Cyclone AAs. Unit under attack. 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 Under attack. Unit under attack. After clearing the nearby area, get up a couple bunkers on the north road, about level with that small hill. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit 
under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Reinforcement landing. Unit under attack. Assigned to commander. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Assigned to commander. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. If you are afforded the opportunity after taking out a unit push, move through the river blocking crater and engage attack. their defenses. They aren't much, but still better to remove them when not also unit being shot at attack. by tanks. Don't push past the river yet, just take the defenses as a prize and back up. And Unit grab your artillery team with the next football load. Unit under attack. 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 With a break in the action and your AA forces here, head east. The Collective don't have a VTOL factory this stage, but they do have VTOLs hidden in the craters ready to jump out, shoot you, and then fly to their base to rearm and repeat. Unless they never make it that far, that is. Granted, this does mean that your AA tanks just became worthless for the rest of the stage, but they had a job, they did it, and we're going to need them in map at the end anyway. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Reinforcement landing. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Assigned to sensor. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. 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 Group one reporting.
Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. One reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. One reporting. Unit under attack. Group three reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. With a few defenses covering the crater and your artillery team backing them up, time to finish clearing the bottom half of the stage. Place your artillery wherever you want below the river, you'll notice where I park my McSpottoms, and drive the MBG across the south edge to the east to engage the few remaining units and structures the Collective have down here. Once they're gone, we will have no threat to our rear. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. There isn't actually a land route to the collective base here. If you want to push with hovers, you can, but as I tend to use the small outcropping that contains the enemy command center to draw the stage out, I tend to avoid this path. I just need to clear this plateau here to stop the enemy sensor from spotting me, and then it's back to the front with the MBG. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Enemy base eradicated. Structure under attack. Assigned to sensor. I'll call in my UAV squad and start building 10 replacements so that I can show off one more quirk of how artillery spotting works in this game. Whether you choose to use the same method as I will demonstrate is up to you. One reporting. Structure under attack.
Construction completed. Structure under attack. 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 Group one reporting. Once you finish off a push, either cyborg or tank, push north across the river. The collective will probably have some units waiting for you, but not nearly enough to stop you. Once across, bring your trucks up to set a forward repair bay. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Reinforcement landing. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction complete. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. One reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Under attack. Assigned to sensor. Unit under attack. One reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. 
Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Unit under attack. Group three reporting. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Assigned to sensor. Group three reporting. Group two reporting. I'll just hide a sensor tower right in this corner here. Construction completed. Group two reporting. So, artillery spotting. When a sensor is feeding information to artillery, the way the program works is, the sensor itself does not have to see the target. As of version 341, the program code performs two checks. One, can the player see an enemy? And two, is that enemy within a sensor's range? If the answer to both is yes, then the sensor can tell artillery to fire at it whether or not the sensor has its own line of sight to the target. You'll notice right now that the sensor I parked in the corner is allowing my McShooters to hit enemy AA pits that there's no way it can see up on that high cliff. That said, there has to be more enemy targets to the east of them, right? Yep, and the corner tucked sensor can assign artillery fire at them too as soon as I, the player, can see them drawn on my screen. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Group 1 reporting. Research completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. And this is why I brought the UAV squad. Watch what happens as they fly over the enemy base. Group 
Unit under attack. 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 With the enemy base spotted by air, now every building inside of it, that is within the two-dimensional spotting plane of the sensor, will be bombed into submission by artillery, even though my UAVs have long left the area, and surprisingly all survived. Guess I can repair them and suicide them on something next stage instead. Group 1 reporting. Fun fact, VTOLs flying over a repair bay can get healed in air. This probably won't be of much use to you, most VTOL repair is done on the landing pads while they also rearm, but fun to watch anyway. I know that in real life, nuclear plants don't go all mushroom cloud when their cooling towers get destroyed, but I'm still a bit perturbed that Christine is having our military move into one to blow it up. Like, we know there's civilians still alive around here, this can't be good for them. Under attack. Unit 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 under attack. Artifact detected. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Artifact recovered. Under attack. Once the plant is down and all artifacts are picked up, we can end the stage by heading back to the LZ. But we've got research, redesigns, and rebuilds to do, so I'll just drop some free experience walls here and split up the tanks from the MBG for reassignment in a few minutes. Time for a fade out. Return to LZ. Major research completed. Alright, what'd we score this time? 
Weapon research completed. The assault gun. Vehicle research completed. The cyborg variant. Structure research completed. Structure research completed. And two choices of defensive structure. We finally have the tank that will keep your MG tanks relevant throughout Beta and beyond. Weapon research completed. The hypervelocity cannon. Structure research completed. Structure research completed. And two defensive choices for it. The HPV, look I didn't choose the name, is the game's replacement for the medium cannon, and I will compare it to the heavy in just a minute. Power research completed. An upgrade to our power generation. Weapon research completed. Whirlwind AA. Structure research completed. And the associated AA pit. The stage after we got an upgrade to our AAs to Cyclones, we get to update them again immediately. A bit annoying from a clerical perspective, but we certainly don't mind having more strength. And to that end, let's get that more strength on a body. The Whirlwind is the Cyclone with a faster rate of fire. That's it. No sense not to upgrade. And for using a picture of her puppers in my last video, I have agreed to let my mom name the AA tank design. So I bring you... The Mosquito Repellent. Given what types of VTOLs we will eventually run into, this name may be a tad conflicting, but I'm using vehicles named the Pringles Cannon Floaty McShooter, so who am I to judge? Next up will be to put the new assault gun on the old heavy machine gun body, of which the design has disappeared. So I guess I'll just make a new one. Man, I wish I could show you a direct comparison. Oh, oh wait, I can. This button shows all obsoleted designs, of which the heavy MG fell onto when the assault gun was finished researching. The assault gun is just more of almost everything compared to the heavy MG. More power to build, more HP, more range, more damage, even if only from 60 to 62, but that makes a bigger difference than it may seem at first glance, and a dramatic increase in fire rate. No change to weight means it'll be just as fast. And finally, let's look at the HPV. While it's straight better than the medium cannon, we weren't using a medium cannon, so if it wants a place on our roster, it has to compete with the heavy. And sadly, it doesn't. The cost reduction isn't a major issue for us, it has less HP, even if not by much, and it loses both DPS and per shot damage. It does weigh considerably less, meaning it moves faster, and it does have a small range advantage over the heavy, but neither of those are enough to justify swapping out the heavy cannon. The anvil design is here to both dish out and take damage, and the advantages of the HPV, longer range and faster movement, don't assist in either of those. It also means the HPV defensive options aren't going to see much use either. The heavy cannon hardpoint is better than the HPV hardpoint for the same reasons as the tank is, and the low elevation HPV is, sadly, not a bunker but an emplacement, meaning it will die under fire way too quickly for our use. This gun has a place in multiplayer and skirmish, but not the 3-4-1 campaign. A bit of rebuilding now. And I'm back. After rebuilding the six machine guns and four AA tanks, I flew them into the stage. My plan was so that they'd be in position to load onto the football at the beginning of next stage, but then I realized I don't need the AA, 
So in your own game, if you're doing this, rebuild the 10 tanks, but only fly in the 6 assault guns. I'm going to have a heck of a landing zone pile up next stage. Anyway. Assigned since return to LZ. No, Christine, you can't make me. I'm going to end this stage by killing the last structure instead. Ha! What do you think about that, huh? Objective accomplished.